What is going on, guys? It is Grant back with you. <coughs> Yo, guys, it is Grant back with you again. As you can see, I'm here. Okay, and you see, you can see this already by the title. Okay, I'm doing a what's on my iPod Touch 5G. You guys been wanting it, requesting it, and you know what? I'm bringing it back for you guys. Let's go. Let's get into it. Bang. Alright guys, as you can see, I'm on my drafting table here. Hope you like the little thing there before. And uh, we're going to see what the heck is on iPod Touch 5G. Alright, so let's do what we classically do and start on the top row. Okay, so here we obviously got FaceTime, but uh, fun fact, front facing camera doesn't work. And it's kind of, my, the iPod's kind of bent, but I have the case on it, so hopefully that helps. I totally did not get a Snapchat there. So we got the Photos app there, for, you know, for looking at photos and such. Notes, keeping notes. Do I really need to go any further? Clock, timers, but I usually use Siri for that anyway, so. Uh, Google Calendar, it stinks that you can't put it in month view, but whatever. Google Calendar is good for syncing across platforms and such. Uh, calculator, Google Maps, because Apple Maps sucks crap the weather channel app because it's more accurate and stuff like that oh yeah and the home button's broken so I got the uh, assistive touch just like the fourth gen which another fun fact we just got all these fun facts gave that to my sister so um uh, yeah cuz I got this now why would I need it um we got Twitter you know social this is the social row I'm gonna put a text here the social row this is what I call it Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, which I totally just didn't get one before, and uh, Facebook, but screw Facebook. Podcast app, because you know what? I've been wanting to listen to podcasts, but I don't want to spend any money on it. So, this is a free one. Yay. Free is good. That was not a good thumbs up. Free is good. There we go. Okay, we've got settings for changing settings and such. Uh, Clash of Clans, get back into it, I'm a little rusty. Uh, App Store for getting new apps and such because this is a 32 gig iPod and I still have 15 gigs left. <sighs> Pretty simple guy when it comes to apps. At least when I have 32 gigs. Okay, this folder is called School. It's got School G, Edmodo, eSchool, you know, checking the grades, check, checking the posts, all that and such. So uh, that's all I got in that folder. Because, you know, school's important, but just right now it's not, so it's in that little folder. Uh, because I'm on somewhere right, duh. Twitch, YouTube, camera, yeah. The dock, which will stay consistent across both pages. Ooh, messages, Safari, inbox by Gmail, because, you know, that material design is just oh, yeah. on point. Spotify, because free music is good. Heard it here first. Okay, the next page we got the games folder. Games are such important apps that did not make any sense. Uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition because uh, I actually don't really why I have that because I don't really play it. And I spent seven bucks on it, but whatever. A Steam for managing my account. PlayStation app for the PS tray. You can see it back there behind my uh, computer monitor. Sorry, that wasn't the cleanest of a. Uh, of desks there but whatever um we got phase house defense because i saw it on uh, one of phase apex's videos and it looked kind of fun uh gba for ios for game boy games but you have to like set the date back and everything i watched everything apple pro video on how to get it but uh you know what it it's okay it doesn't work the greatest but whatever parcel track for getting my packages fun fact i'll i'll show you surprise at the end there's two surprises Oh yeah, you guys already saw that in the title. <laughs> I didn't mention it because I wanted it to be a surprise. I got two surprises at the end, so stay tuned. Um, let's see, now you guys are just going to be wondering. Music app, don't really use it because I don't have music because I use Spotify. There we go. Uh, contacts, now we got, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me zoom in. Google Boys, we go into here. Alright, we got Google Drive for all the files. 
Google Photos for cross-platform syncing. I think cross-platform um, uh, syncing is a big factor here in all the apps I have, like YouTube Capture, Google Wallet, uh, Play Books, Play Movies, Play Music, AdSense, and Documents. You know, it's just Android apps. I have a lot of those on here. iFunny, Hangouts, which I actually use more than a lot of other people, but whatever. Uh, Subway Surfers, um, Amazon, just because... I prefer the app over the web thing, so yeah. Extra crap. This is just literally extra clap. Clap. I literally cannot talk today. Extra clap. Dropbox, Geekbench, which you saw in the last video. <laughs> Splice is a video editor, voice memos, guitar tuner for guitar tuning, because I used to play guitar. I don't know if I ever will again, but whatever. Uh, Samsung Mobile Print for printing on my printer. Skype, Periscope. Uh, find my iPhone, find my friends, Gigi board, uh, news, you know, just stuff I don't really use, so, yeah. TV, I got the CW app to watch the updated stuff with the Flash on here. But then I realized I can just use this website right here, so, yeah. Um, use it. Yeah. Mercari, which is a shopping platform thing that if you refer uh, someone, they get two bucks and you get two bucks, so I've gotten a couple things from them, like, uh, these cheap-looking headphones and, uh, another lightning cable. Um, and then YouTube Studio for managing this channel you're watching exactly right now. Uh, it takes a lot of work, especially when you've got to respond to, like, a hundred comments on a PC video, but it works. You guys are all amazing. I love it. And so then there's the website for all these movies and Flash episodes and stuff like that, and Facebook Messenger, because that's a good messenger. And that about wraps it up. Alright guys, that's going to have to conclude the what is on my iPod Touch 5th generation. I don't know what the hand movements were. Alright, so I hope that helps you guys out with maybe you need some apps to get. I'm pretty basic, you know, just some school apps, social stuff, and some games I mean I'm not even I don't even use the games even that much anyway so there you guys go and all right you're probably saying Grant what the heck is the surprises like it's in the title and you told us in the video well I got a Chromebook and uh, yeah as you can see I did what I usually do I put the um, uh, Apple logo on it just to make it look cool and uh, yeah this used to be my brother's computer but he got a new Chromebook because this was kind of getting a little slow, but works good for me. And uh, I can, like, watch movies and TV shows on it and stuff. So, um, uh, yeah, I really like it. And I wanted to introduce it to you guys because I got it, like, what, a week or two ago? But these videos are really behind. <laughs> so, because I, I can really only make one a week. And that's what I've been doing. So, uh, yeah. And now you're probably saying, Grant, what's the other surprise? You said there's two surprises. So, the Chromebook that was passed on to me and I'm getting a new phone that's right I'm getting a green iPhone 5c and I'm getting a black case with it so you know the green and black it's gonna look pretty swag, swag. all right so there's the two surprises new iPhone 5c new Chromebook and you got your guys some you got your guys you got yourself some new apps that you can try out maybe I don't know baby baby I'm gonna have to like restart this thing. Okay, there you go, that's the end. You know the you know the drill. If you like it, then you like it, obviously. I mean just just hit the button if it goes with what you're thinking. I mean there's like a connection you gotta have. And then um uh you know you like it if you like it, okay? Just that's that's what it is. Subscribe if you want more of this guy. And uh that'll have to do it for me. I will see you guys in the next one.